are going to be finding the volume of a sphere. For a sphere, you only need to be concerned about two main equations, surface area and volume. You don't need to be concerned about lateral area because there are no sides, which lateral refers to sides. So the surface area equation and the volume equation are related in a very important fashion. They both start with 4 pi r, 4 pi r. The differences are, for surface area, it's 4 pi r squared, and you can remember that because area is a two-dimensional concept, and volume is 4 pi r cubed, but again over 3, and you can remember the 3 there because volume is a three-dimensional concept. So here we want to find the radius is given as 8.2, calculate the volume. And this time we're going to use 3.14 for pi. We're not going to do exact terms of pi. So we're going to pick up this equation right here, volume, bring it up here. Volume equals 4 pi r cubed over 3. And here our radius is going to be 8.2. So our numbers are going to look like this, 4 times 3.14 times 8.2 cubed over 3. Now the biggest mistake students will often make is they simply multiply 4 times this times this and then cube. There's a problem there because it's only 8.2 that's going to be cubed. So I suggest you actually work from right to left going like this in your calculator. So we're going to pick up the calculator and we're going to go 8.2 actually let me pick up the scientific calculator. It's a little faster. Okay, so we're going to do 8.2, and we're going to cube it, and we're going to times by 3.14, times by 4 again, and then we're going to divide by 3, and our answer is 23 point, uh, excuse me, 2308, or 2308.4, so 20, uh, 2,308.4, and of course it's going to be meters cubed. Now we want to find out, it says, and round your answer to the nearest tenth. So we actually need to go get one more decimal here. It says it's 0.39, so it's going to be 2308.39 nearest tenth, which means we round to that position, which is 2,308.4. Make sure it's meters cubed because it's three dimensions in volume.